passport. Uh, so there are certain documents that you, they need you to submit through the email. After that, they will send you, you will just wait. So depending on your case number, they will send you the date to go to go for the interview. But before you go to the interview, once you have the case uh, interview date, you have to do the medical. After doing the medical, you will go with the medical form, police clearance record, and all the documents are supposed to be to the visa interview. And while you are going to the visa interview, you will fill the DSC-5, whatever, the 5540, the public charge form. You will be able to fill that form too. Okay. Uh, let me, uh, first of all, go to here and make it easier. I don't want this one to die. Okay. Uh, okay, Paul says, uh, thank you, Mr. A. Uh, you are sacrificed. But one last question. If I win the lottery and get the visa, can I book a plane for two or three months before I get my temporary job? I don't understand the question. Uh, once you get the visa, you have six months to travel to come to America. So it's up to you when you want to come. So you can purchase the ticket right away. You get the visa today. You want to travel maybe four months later. If you travel a little month, two months later, the ticket, tickets are cheap uh, or more affordable compared to if the... Uh, if they uh, compared it to, so let me make it this way so that I can, okay, I don't want the, yeah. So that is something you need to know uh, about that. Uh, any question from Instagram? Uh, Jay, you are asking, uh, Okay, uh, ranting about a, a John late. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so. Ali Mohammed, uh, how are you? Uh, say I will not listen to you. Fahil, I don't know what is going on. Okay, let me answer the question. Okay, uh, another question is... Uh, Mwangi say thank you. Uh, great work, Mr. EBM. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking your time to come and watch my videos. Okay. Uh, uh, Ali Mahmoud say, can you see my words, EBM, yes or no? Yes, I can see uh, your words and your messages, I think. Uh, one of the questions, please answer my question. Ali Mahmoud, let me find you a question. Uh, okay. Okay, let me go back to Al Mahmoud question. You ask about my, uh, ask about my 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 what my Instagram account. So I have two. One is uh, EBM Signature and EBM Scholars. So those are my YouTube, my Instagram account, and for Twitter. I'm using uh, Ernest underscore Makurilo. So I've sent on the message here. Okay, let me go to other questions. Uh, okay, let me... Fahad, you're asking... Uh, okay, first of all... Uh, okay, Mwangi, you're asking a question. Uh, how would you rate farmer's technician job? Can you make a living out of it? Yes, you can make a very good living out of it. Any job in the U.S. in the medical field, it is very, very good job. So farmer's technician, you work at farmers, yes. I mean, even if you don't have a degree, you, you, you go for certain, I don't know for how long, school, six months, a year here to get that one. You will be getting paid at least a very small amount will be $20 and above per hour. So it can make a very good living. You can make, I mean, it's, I don't know, $25 per hour. You can make a very good living out of that. Uh, Frankie uh, on Instagram, uh, Amani, AA Man Scan. Uh, hello, EBM. God bless you for your great work. Uh, 
Thanks so much. Uh, Frank, uh, you asked me, thank you, Mr. EBM, being looking for this account. God bless you all. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for joining on my Instagram, too. Okay, uh, for those who haven't been able to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please do so to subscribe to my YouTube channel while we are continuing with that one. These questions I'm going to answer here, I'm going to make also videos and I can be able to break down for you to be able to do that. While I'm doing live, I'm also recording on my camera here so that I can have break, breaks of these questions because some people, it will be difficult to go and listen to all maybe an hour, two hours because up to now it is 55 minutes video uh, it's very long live, so but I've been. I'm going to break down into fewer small uh, portions. Okay, let me go to another quick question. Uh, uh, Marex Mongesha says, "Say hi to your wife and the son. Uh, I will pass greetings along. They are all sleeping now." Uh, okay, uh, Fahad, you say hi, EBM. Can you please talk shortly about the cost of living in Atlanta, Georgia, and any chance of getting jobs for nurses? Thank you so much. First of all, Atlanta, Georgia, or Atlanta, or Georgia in general, is very good, affordable state. If you want to go there, it's just like living in Missouri, like living in Kansas, living in Ohio, very affordable states. I mean, you can get very good jobs, you can get good living. There is no thing I can say, bad thing about Georgia. It's different from if I could say about New York. Jobs about nursing, there are jobs everywhere. Nurses in Georgia or all over in the United States, average amount you'll be able to make will be uh, at least will be at least you'll be able to make will be not less than forty dollar per hour. So that is how you can be able to sustain uh, life in Georgia or life in any other states. Uh, if you come as a nurse, that will be a very good. Uh, good place to get jobs but you even if you are in a registered nurse in your country that doesn't translate direct to america and become a nurse here you must do the registration or certification to be a registered nurse in the state where you'll be living even if you have degree of nursing in the u.s you can be a uh, registered nurse in west virginia but you are not allowed to practice to become a registered nurse in another state but there are registration maybe for a registered nurse of new york maybe there have there are certain states, maybe four states, they have come some sort of like uh, agreement. If you are registered in this state, you can be able to operate in other states without taking another uh, registered registered exams. Okay, uh, another question. Uh, Ravine, how long do you do they give to fill? How long do they give to fill the DSC two sixty? As long as you fill it before the end of the green card lottery, that the lottery like means, uh, if you win the lottery in results come in June fifth, you can fill that form any time. But remember, first come first uh, first saved. So for instance, your case number, let's say is ten thousand, and you don't fill the form until almost August of the following year, twenty twenty one, you might end up maybe not getting your chance at all. So the better way. As soon as you see the results, just find a way to fill the form. You can fill that June, July, August, October, November, December. But for me, if I know that if I have someone already the address in the US, fill as soon as possible. Because most of the information is a normal information. Where did you live? Where did you were this where at, at this age? Or oh, which school did you go prior high school? Which school did you go for your bachelor degree? All the information you have. Are you married? Yes. Put the name of your spouse. When did you get married? Put your current... There is a question. What is current, what the job you want to do if you go to America? It doesn't mean that uh, you have to have the actual job or you must do that job. So it's just simple information of that nature which they are going to ask you in, that, in most cases. Uh... Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, let me go to another question. Kualo, you are asking a question. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to answer that question. Uh, the battery is low on the camera, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to connect, change the battery, and it will take me how many seconds? Just maybe ten seconds. Okay, so give me a sec. <laughs> 